Are you wondering how to get better sounding audio? Well, in today's video, we're going to be talking about three different types of audio you can use for your YouTube videos with three different price points. So stay tuned. Hi everyone, my name is Rebecca Meyer and if you're new to this channel, first let me start by welcoming you. We predominantly do tech reviews of gizmos and gadgets, so if you're interested in those things, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Alright, let's get into it. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about three different types of audio. The first is going to be the lavalier, the second is going to be the H1 Zoom, and the third is going to be the Rode USB condenser mic. So let's start with the lavalier. So this is a lavalier. And what's great about this is it's tiny, it's discreet, uh, and you can hide it really easily. The one I'm using here is from JK Enterprises, and I'll have the link below in the show notes. Uh, but this is absolutely fantastic. This one is small and inconspicuous, and you really don't notice it when it's on. The quality is fantastic. So let's do a, a little show and tell. So right now I've got my lavalier plugged in and uh, it's going directly into my computer to get the sound quality. Now if you see the difference between using just the regular camera mic, then you'll see that uh, the camera mic, well, maybe isn't so good. But when we switch back to the lavalier, when it's directly plugged into your computer, well, it's a little bit nicer of a sound. What do you think? What's great about using a lavalier is it gives you mobility. So you don't have to stand so close to the camera. So for instance, if I'm walking away from the camera or even walking off shot or out of the room or turning around or anywhere, it's gonna be able to pick up some some, some good audio. So using a lavalier is fantastic just to give you a little bit of mobility. Now another option for audio is the Zoom H1. I had seen it a lot in YouTube videos and I was just like, oh, I don't need that, I don't need that. But I have to be honest with you, this is absolutely a must have if you're gonna be doing YouTube videos. It is uh, life changing. What's fantastic about it is that it does uh, record in stereo. The sound quality is fantastic. You can plug a lavalier into it. You can use it on its own just sitting out. You can use it as a microphone it has a lot of options so let's check out the sound quality so right now I'm just using it as a microphone you can hear the difference between using my onboard camera this is the camera I'm using now now you can hear the h1 zoom which I'm holding in my hand so you can see there's a, a very good quality using this uh, h1 zoom it's fantastic what's great about it is it's really mobile I used it a lot during my uh, Machu Picchu trip. You can uh, check out the link above. You'll, you'll be able to see it there. Overall, I think this is a really fantastic tool to have for YouTubers. Uh, I use it again when I'm uh, either traveling or even just like sitting in front of the couch or if I'm not next to my computer where I can use my, uh, my, my Rode microphone. All right, so let's test it out with the uh, lavalier. This is the lavalier plugged directly into the H1 Zoom, and as, as I'm sure you can tell, the quality is fantastic. Um, it's definitely an easy thing to use, and you wanna talk about mobility. I mean, this thing, I can go all over the place. I can, I can go into my other room. I can, I can do all sorts of stuff, and I can just walk around, and that's what makes this uh, really fantastic, is uh, it's just very, 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 easy to use and uh, really you just, you just have complete and utter freedom with this uh, because again you can take it anywhere so no matter what kind of camera you have whether you have an audio input or you don't have an audio input it doesn't matter because the h1 zoom is is well worth it um, and this is going to be like a mid-grade price whereas the lavalier is going to be a little bit on the lower end but the lavalier along with this uh, it's definitely a win-win so far we've discussed the lavalier which is going to be around a $20 investment you've got the h1 zoom which is going to be around a hundred dollar investment and then we have the Rode USB microphone it is by far my favorite tool for audio at least in a studio setting as you can tell by the difference in the sound quality like if we're using the onboard mic and it might sound something like this 
or if we use the H1 zoom with the lavalier, it might sound something like this. But I think by far uh, the best and uh, cleanest sound would come from the Rode microphone. So it's definitely a, a plus plus. I'm not using a camera that has an audio jack. So in order for me to get a crisp, nice sound, I can use this directly into my computer and, uh, and it's definitely good to go. So the Rode USB condenser mic is my favorite of all my audio options and uh, it's definitely one of the easiest to use just plug and play and it works right off the bat so those are my top three audio options for making YouTube videos the lavalier the h1 zoom and the USB Rode microphone so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're interested in any of the topics that we talked about today please let me know in the show notes below so again if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the subscribe button and we'll see you later don't forget to subscribe.